One of the hardest web design trends right now is the Bento Grid design UI, Bento UI, Bento Box, something like that. It's used by Apple, DJI, and Procreate. But how do you create a good Bento web design? Let's explore some examples, understand how you can use it in your next website, and watch until the end to see how I recreate a Bento design in WordPress. I'm Lex from Techies Review. And if you are as passionate about web design and creating websites as I am, then you're going to love this. So let's get to it. There are a lot of amazing Bender Grid examples, but let's understand what Bender Grid is before we take a look at the examples. Bender Grid gets its name from the Japanese Bento Box, which is a box that neatly organizes different types of food. Bento Grid wants to, just like the Bento Box, offer you a visually tasty and well-structured layout making sure every element has its own place and purpose. Let's look at the examples. So when looking at the first Bento Grid example from Apple, you see that this is a key feature overview of the Apple iPhone camera. What I like about this one is that there's not a lot of text. They have a lot of pictures in there, which is supported for the camera and they use icons as well. I also noticed the spacing difference between one section or to another. For example, here in the recycle, they have a lot of spacing to the left and right. But for the mode options, the text has less spacing, but the icon has more spacing. Although this is different, it feels very Apple-like, very flat design, very easy on the eyes and easy to see what this section is about. So let's take a look at the next amazing example from DJI. So as you can see, this is also about the key features of the Osmo Action 4 camera. There's a lot of visuals and there's a big typeface there's a lot of spacing between the content and the edge of the box what i like about this one is that the color scheme is matching with my preferred mode and that's in this case dark mode next thing i notice is that they are using less bento boxes which i do like i don't feel like i am overwhelmed by all the information shown at once a nice touch is a video within a box to give it more of a dynamic feeling and i think the Color typeface with the background works very well. Let's have a look at the last example from Procreate. Here also there's a product overview, I guess, from Procreate itself, the kind of interaction, and that you have a version that's very pocketable. They use a lot of spacing and they use a lot of visuals as well. What they do different is that they are using different kind of typefaces. So a smaller one, but capitalized and a big, big bold typeface as well. What I also like is that there is a small animation going on. And this section is amazing. They use strong visuals, but keep in mind with their visuals that the text still needs to be readable. This is very well done. Let me know which example did you like the most. Leave a comment down below. I really like the Procreate one because of the different kinds of typefaces they use and the visuals are just stunning. Before we dive into the fun stuff and creating it yourself, let's discover why this trend is great to use. Bento web design allows for a clean, well-organized layout. It's pleasing to the eye, but also enhances user experience by delivering information in bite-sized small chunks, just like a Bento box. It solves the need to present information in a small space without losing aesthetics. This will improve user experience and keep them longer on your website. But be aware of putting too much information in and having all the boxes screaming for the user's attention. I'm going to show you how to incorporate Bento Design for your next web project using one of my favorite tools in WordPress. Please do follow along as we create a website that's not just functional, but also beautiful designed. Now I'm using GreenChef blocks because that's my favorite block tool, but the same principles apply to other tools. So let's create a Bento grid for my personal page. And in GreenShift, we have CSS grid of containers. It's actually a container within a container, but this makes it very fast and we have access to the visual grid builder. What I like about CSS grid layout containers, is that there's already some containers available for you. I like to use the four column grid. So let's select that one. I would like to change the grid as well. So the first one should be full length. Length. Second one should have two medium large one and one very large one. And I think I will add another container to this. See, it's done something wrong. So that's why we can open this. And now it is fixed. And I want the last one to be 
full size. So let's go to this grid. Grid. See something has changed, but doesn't matter. Can easily change things up again. One, two. One large. Let's put this one like this. And now we have something differently looking. I think this looks like nice for now. Let's add some basic contents. For example, a heading. Bento. This is amazing. As you can see, there's spacing missing. And what we saw in the examples is that there is a lot of spacing between the sides of the content, the bento box, and the content itself. So let's change that. In GreenShift, we have a very quick set option, spacing, and we can add a padding to every side. I like to use EM because EM is scaled upon the font size. So 2EM, which we'll be using for this section, means two times the font size. The default font size will be around 16 pixels. So the spacing would be 32 pixels right now. Let's give it also a background color that we can see the grid as well. Make it a little bit different. So there we go. Let's also add a image. So I'd like to add an image of myself. And let's align right and have it on the edge of the box as well you can do this by adding a negative margin of the spacing we have set so the padding we set previously was 2 a.m so let's change the amount of spacing we have for this image this looks already a little bit better. I think I want to be more on top. But it's also due to the spacing of this heading. So perhaps if we change this one to be zero and zero. There we go. Ah, this is also a nice effect. Going a little bit outside of the bento box. Now what I would like to do is add a border radius. So let's do that of 20m. Looks good enough. You, as you can see, the image doesn't do well around the corners. So we can fix it by adding the same amount of border radius to this one as well. And it's to the bottom. Right, so let's add a border radius there as well. So this looks fine. I think I would love to have the text above the image. So we set a position Z index of two. So as you can see, the lines are now over my head. So uh, let's add a to it as well. Ah, now I see what I did wrong. This isn't. Uh, I see I forgot something. I forgot to add another container for this one and put this one to CSS Flexbox or Grid. I love to work with Grid, so I will make it a Grid and combine those two in a single container. There we go. Now I'm always on the right, and this section is always on the left. You can change the sections. If you'd like to, but I think this way looks better. Now let's add some text. And then we add a button there as well. Typo. Oh, that's much better. And now the spacing needs to change. 0.5. I think I would like a different on the right. And left. 
So that looks a little bit better. And let's add some margin to the top as well. 1 a.m. usually fixes it. So there we go. There's our first section of the bento grid. And let's add a sec second one. Uh, I think I would like this to refer to my YouTube channel. So there we have a YouTube icon. So we'll do red. There we go. I don't want any hover effects. Let's align it to the left. In size 3M. I guess this is good enough. Let's add a container. First, let's add a background color. Same background as this one. And then add some spacing as well. A padding of 2 EM. Because this one is smaller, I think less border radius works better. So let's put it to 1 EM. And add afterwards. A text. So let's just duplicate this one because we know that the other one is awful. And I also would like this to be red. Subscribe. There we go. Spacing is a little bit off, so we can change that by. Reducing the spacing on the top and bottom. I think this works well. So for the next one, I love using green shift. So let's add a green shift section as well. So no, I don't need you, Microsoft. There we go. Select. And let's add some spacing of. 2EM like we did with rest as well. 22 is a little bit too large. And let's change the background settings to match with rest. And add some border radius of 2EM. See, as you can see, this, this looks very large and off for a tiny grid. So I'd like to decrease this border radius size. This looks better. Do we put a padding? Ah, padding of one. It needs to be a padding of two, not 12. There we go. And let's make this the same size as the image. This 3am. I mean, the icon of YouTube. So we change the width to match. Let's duplicate it, paste it there, save us some time. Green shift is amazing. And this one is a call to action, so this push should be get now, right? Get now. And it would be nice to match the background color to the green shift color. So let's just get one from there. So there we go. Next up is this one. Let's add a spacing in here as well of 2 EM to keep it consistent and add, add a border of 1 EM as well. And so it matches with the rest. Let's add some text in here that gives this page also an extra little bit of personality. So let's have fun. There we go. It's always better to have fun, right? Give it a white color and lose the spacing the top and the bottom. Let's have fun. And for every black one. And finally, the last section. Let's make it something fun for the lazy people out there. Because you will be able to download this pre-made Pento grid if you're too lazy to create it yourself. And you can find it in my store. So let's create a section for that one. You know there is a... Ah, this one. I like this one more. There we go. 
change the color to orange. Line it to the left as well to make it consistent. Then let's add a background color. There we go. And a border radius as well of 1 EM. Now we have to add spacing 2 EM. Oh, I didn't lock it. So there we go, 2 EM. And let's be lazy again by just duplicating it. I do this by pressing Ctrl Shift D. You can also do it by going here, Ctrl Shift D, duplicate. Get this template or and there we go. We have our bento grid. Maybe it's better to have this section aligned center. So let's make it a flex box, get the direction stacked and have it in the center. There we go. Perhaps you can do better. I can understand that you can do the better, but this is my setup that I just create in a few minutes. So you can do it as well. So there we have it. Our very first simple pentagrid design. Just like the other ones, there's a lot of spacing between the edges. There's some text, some nice visuals and images. I don't have a lot of images going on. You can change it either way. But now you have the idea on how to do this. And that's a wrap on the Bento web design. If you followed along and created the tasty looking Bento design, leave a link in the comments down below. I love to see what you have made. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more web creation tips and tricks. Until next time, keep designing.